So, did it work? Don't you already know? I know. I just want to hear you say it. <sighs> so then, how do you feel when I say, Sharif? Slightly angry. Slightly angry? <laughs> you pussy. You're supposed to say, fuck that bitch! Well, it's a start, okay? I thought about what you said, and the moment that I started hating Sharif for making me feel like shit, the Sandman snuck into my room. Ah, see? The moment you sabotage the infatuation, I knew you'd fall asleep like a smothered baby. I'm not sure if that's proof it works, though. I mean, I was gonna fall asleep eventually. Listen to you! Shitting on your progress! Taking my job! It's a start, at least! Turn on the TV. I heard there's a girl with a flesh eating two on her face. That ought to do you some good to see someone worse off than you. Some balls. She's the man she rejected before you rejected her. We both know she won that part of the game. So now that she finally decides to call you, show her that she don't care. Don't give her the satisfaction. Hello? Hi. Richie? Yeah, what's up? Hey, um, I haven't heard from you in a while. Oh, something serious came up. I've been meaning to talk to you. Tell her off! Trust me, you're protecting yourself this way. Don't think of it as masochistic. That's it? Why haven't you called me in the past couple of weeks? You kind of just left me hanging. Sorry, Richie. I, I shouldn't have done that. I should have known how sensitive you are by now. Fuck that! You left me hanging. You said you were coming over, and then I called you when you said you called me back. And then I don't hear from you in two weeks? Look, I'm sorry. I, I should have called you before, but something really serious happened. Something happened? Who died? No one died. I... I've just been going through a lot of shit lately. My mom is putting restraining orders on my stepdad and we moved from one shithole to another. Excuses, excuses. I'm sorry about that. It's alright. You know, shit happens. Look, I'm, I'm sorry about the break. I know we were hanging out a lot. A break, huh? Do you know how miserable I've felt over the past couple of weeks? Too honest, you lop! Don't forget you haven't even told her you liked her yet! Jesus, don't you listen to anything I say? Alright. Finally, I'm being honest with her. Well, now she can only say two things. Either she's going to say, I'm sorry, Dagger Boy, but I thought we were just friends. Or, I'm so happy you feel the same way. I think I'm having a breakthrough moment right now. You know, to be honest, I know we're supposed to be just friends, but I think of you as more than just a friend, Cherie. These past couple of weeks were excruciating for me. And all I can think of is the future and how in the end you're going to reject me, and I don't blame you. Honestly. Where do you get all this misguided insecurity? Where else? From you, bitch! What else am I supposed to think when you start ignoring me? Look, I can't deal with that swamp of emotion right now. I already had a taste of it over the past couple of days, and it tasted like shit. Judging by your silence, you don't feel the same way. So I'm gonna protect myself and just stop talking to you. I didn't reject you. I don't know where you got that idea. I mean, I don't know what to say. It, things just seemed a lot more lighthearted when we were just friends. I don't know, it, it just feels like things are on the verge of getting too serious. Not what I want to hear right now. Too much emotion, fuckface, you're losing the game, remember, fuck that bitch! Not to say I don't feel the same way. Listen, let's just hang out and talk about this in person. Reject her. REJECT HER! You can go ahead and wait, but don't expect me to show up! Did you just hang up on her? Congratulations. You just showed that succubus who's boss. It's over. It's finally over. And you actually managed to win. For a minute there, she had the upper hand. Jesus, you still surprise me. Oh my god, why did I do that? What? Are you kidding me? That was the smartest thing you could have done. She was just gonna use you for a stepping stone. She's too good for you. I feel like she might like me a lot. Don't make me laugh, are you kidding me? She looks down on you, literally. She's like 10 feet taller than you. You should be proud you beat her at her own game. Then what do I feel like I lost? Don't feel guilty, dagger boy. Listen, after this, you're better off ignoring her. You can't leave this relationship in a let's just be friends kind of state. She's under the impression that you two are just friends and she's gonna use your infatuation for her own good. 
Sometimes girls like Sheree have crushes on better guys than you, and she's gonna get rejected just like you did, and she'll come crying back to you, expecting your companionship or her spell short because she knows that you have no pride and you'll accept all of her emotional scraps. She'll weasel her way back into your so-called friendship. Well, fuck that shit. In this situation, get mad and keep your pride. You don't want to be used like that, utterly destroy the possibility of any kind of friendship. I'm not an asshole, Ben. I'm not sure if I can do that. Come on, man. Keep the bitterness close to your heart and spite this bitch. Don't you have any backbone? Or are you just a spineless stingray? Well, let me remind you that stingrays have been known to stab overzealous Australians right in the fucking heart. That's just some head start advice. You hung up on her, that's good for now. She gets the idea that you want to be left alone. Don't answer to Cherie. Hello, Cherie. Fuck, she's attracted to her assness. Don't kid yourself, that asshole attraction will fake when she realizes that deep down inside your big gaming pussy. All right, maybe I deserve that, but I was thinking you deserve some honesty. It's just, I have trouble being honest about the way I feel. It makes me feel naked, you know? I'm not the kind of person that wears my heart on my sleeve. I fucking hate that old cliche. I fucking hate that expression. Instead of pushing my comfort zone and being honest about the way I feel, I, I tried to ignore the feelings I have growing for you. It sounds dumb, but it's true. And, well, I'd have to be blind not to notice that you have a crush on me. Deaf, dumb, blind, and autistic. But I was second-guessing myself a lot, too. I was pretty confused on the matter of whether or not you like me, but now I got a pretty good idea how you feel. And I know you well enough to know you're not a take-charge kind of guy. That's... it's pathetic, but in a sweet way. When I said you had sad, sadistic eyes, it was a good thing. Don't listen to her. She's toying with you for the last time. Grow a fucking pear! Then why did you disappear like a ghost? Well, to be honest, Richie, I just didn't want you to get tired of me. You're losing the game, buddy. Tell that broad to go kick rocks. Think of how she made you feel for the last 18 fucking days. I just didn't want you to get tired of me. We were hanging out a lot. I didn't want you to get sick of me like guys in the past did. She has daddy issues. That's a hint. And for the hills, dagger boy! Honestly, that's why you haven't heard from me. I was insecure, and insecurities make people do stupid things. So, so, to put it out there so that none of us are confused, yes, Richie, I like you. I just want to know, do you feel the same way about me? Maybe you should go find some other guy to jerk around like a yo-yo. Maybe if you would have told this to me before you decided to ignore me like some heartless automaton, I'd feel inclined to agree with you. Are you mad at me for not talking to you? I'm sorry, Richie. I, I, I really don't want you to be mad at me. Please don't hold a grudge against me. I, I really like you, Richie. Reject her. REJECT HER! To be honest, I don't take what you did to me lightly, Cherie. Okay, you showed your true colors over these past few weeks. Your true, selfish, ice queen arctic colors. Well, to be fair, you didn't have the guts to tell me how you felt until about two minutes ago. Listen, Richie, I wouldn't have ignored you if you would have said something. I mean, you even could have written a note and put it in my purse. It's a little junior high-ish, but I wouldn't have cared. If only you would have said something, I wouldn't have been so confused. Ah! Tell her off! After this, I don't even think I like you anymore, Cherie. You really don't like me anymore. Me. The only girl that's praying for your soul. The only girl that doesn't insult you by calling you Dagger Boy. Do it! You know what? You deserve to be abandoned by your father, you selfish cunts. And for the next time, don't make guys wait around because you're just not worth it. Oh God, why did I do that? Oh. I feel like I just jumped in front of a train. <laughs> Don't feel bad, in the long run it would have been way worse. No, she said she liked me a lot. <laughs> I didn't think she would say that. And you told that bitch to fuck off! I didn't think you would say that. You're more of a badass than I thought. Should I call her back? Did you tell her she deserved to be abandoned by her father? Yeah. Yeah, don't call her back. She definitely hates you. Why did I do that? Is there at least a moral to this story? Mm, none that I can think of. I'll let you know if something comes up. I highly doubt it. But for now, the story just ends. Sorry. You know, if you keep this up, you'll be alone forever. If I listen to you, I will. I'm sure of that. Well, in the meantime, you'll just stay in fetal position, grow old, and shit on yourself and die.
But don't feel bad, I'm sure you'll be able to find a few stray cats to keep you company. Why do I listen to you, you useless fuck? We have Mr. Snugglebottom. He's so full of shit. Mittens. Shut up. Hanky. Shut up. Mom. Shut up! <laughs> I bet you'll be one of the creepy type that names one of your cats Cherie. Leave me the fuck alone. Like I said, I can't do that until you finish your painkillers, take your Prozac, and get a good night's sleep. Maybe then you'll stop seeing me around. Here. You're, you're gonna need that. that. I know you're the pathetic type, and this whole Sheree thing will keep eating you up inside, rendering you jaded and motionless. I'm sure this just boosted up your fear of rejection a full ten notches. God, I grew out of that. So, since you're laying there, I thought you might want to give your neck some support. You know, if you put enough of those pills together, it makes it look like another person. I'm just saying, your lonely self-destructive bastard. Sheree, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, God. How you feel, dagger boy? My heart's in two right now. And you did it to yourself. I did it to myself. This was so masochistic of me. You broke my heart in two, and I'm leaving this half with you to remind you what you done to me, honey. Oh